was something of significance beyond this bridge. It was important to look to have a more important to me. Will it help us build you a body? I believe so. Ruptured hydraulic fluid. New blueprint synthesized. Oh, so I need to build a bridge. We'll build a hydraulic thing. Snowfox right there, I get that. Which actually, how do you make that? Magnetite battery lubricant titanium? I can make that right now. I just need the the Snowfox uh, pad. Hydraulic fluid is creep vine cluster and gel sac. Oh, that's a lot. And for the Snow Fox hover pad, I just need a single regular wiring kit. Yeah, I'm getting cold, which is just two silver. Welcome aboard, Captain. I have detected an energy signature of some strength. Oh. I am not sure what it is. Go ahead and share it. We probably could, honestly, but signal location uploaded to PDA. Very, very fun. I'm liking the fact that I'm getting a grasp, like even somewhat, on the area, so I can just kind of go places. Like you really like just being loud. Yeah, it's... I honestly have no idea how. But my brain's like, that way. Seek fluid intake. I don't even really look at the compass that I have up there. Vital signs stabilizing. Lithium. Any lithium anywhere around here? Any lithium anywhere around anywhere? I see you up there. Like, you look like you should be a land creature. Or some form of amphibian, and I'm glad you're not. Oh, who are you after? Alright. Bye. And that's when I turn around and there's a giant, even larger creature just behind me. Alright, I got my two. Yeah, that does hurt me. I figured it would, but I honestly wasn't sure. So I figured, hey, best bet to learn? Just swim right into it. What's the worst that could happen? I lose all my skin. Yeah, um, I, I, from all the research I've seen, you don't really need your skin to to fully survive. Only partially. And now let's make this. Excellent. Unpin those. Access upgrades. Let's pop that in. 300 meters. Very nice. Now I can go into like the, the deep twisty bridges. Oh man, I'm so excited to go down extremely deep in an area that I've never been before. I'm gonna absolutely love it so much. Are you ready? Like already. If I was, if I didn't have the depth upgrade, I wouldn't want to go much further past this because that's officially past how far down it could have gone prior. Oh, uh, so twisty. Okay, let's go. Well, I'm already almost as far down as I can go. <laughs> that 
that guy's a friend. All right, so I will pop it there and I'm going to try and get a scan of you. Seek fluid intake. Squid shark. Isn't there a mythology about that? The luck, I think. The, I don't know. I know there is a, it's like a Mexican mythology. Um, half shark, half squid. Or half shark, half octopus. An interesting creature. People believe that the myth started when somebody saw a shark and an octopus having a altercation because that is entirely possible for a thing to have happened because it does happen. I don't need all these diamonds. I shouldn't be picking them up, but like I see a diamond and I'm like, diamond. Sea truck storage module fragment. That's what I'm wanting. One out of three. Sea truck fabricator module. Just a, a vein of diamonds, you know. Another of the fabricator. Just need one more of those. Not to mention an oxygen if you want to pop up any second because I'm not seeing any others. Perfect. Yeah, these are all the things that I want. Save for that. Oh, like, this area is so otherworldly. Like, I know it is on another planet, and that's, like, the, the, the whole shtick that they're trying to go for, but... New technology acquired. Oh, it's just such a place. I got the fabricator, uh, and the storage and how many I can get some more of these because they're pretty good things are just floating in the water Very good. I'm so glad that there are these oxygen plants. Oh, it's you. Spiky trap. Lovely. I love that. I thought it was the squid that got me, like the squid shark. Ooh -woo. This artifact could provide useful information. Processing. An obelisk. I need more oxygen before I read about that. I'm not having a good time right now. I want out of here. <laughs> oxygen plant. Warning, 30 seconds of oxygen remain. 
At least if I die, it will just bring me back to my seat track. Yeah, you can't get me if I swim away. This is quite the area, honestly. Oh, you can stop it. Ah, uh, fabricator, fabricator. Storage. Broken mandrake. I know what mandrakes are, and even a broken one, I don't want anything to do with it. Oh, you cut it out. That's enough of you. Yeah, don't mind me. Are you trying to do your pathfinding back down there, but now you're up here? Like forgetting someone's birthday? I don't know, it just happens. No, important memories. When you die, some quantity of knowledge is lost forever to the next generation. Isn't that... I'm warning you, if you call humanity inefficient one more time, I will swim us both into the mouth of the Leviathan. <laughs> is that sarcasm? I am still having trouble differentiating. How inefficient. Efficiency <laughs> aside, does the loss of knowledge not create complications? Well, it can be sad. On a personal level, losing someone can be traumatic. But it's harder to process the idea of generational knowledge. Humans aren't networked, so we can't even be aware of what we're losing moment by moment. But we do have written and oral history. History is interpreted, and memories are not perfect. This is true, but it's what we have. We try to learn from history, some of us more than others. Memory is complex. Maybe it's not ideal, but it's what we have. What happens when you no longer have the memories of others to combine with your own? You make your own memories and interpretations. You have to experience life as an autonomous being. Discover yourself. That idea is foreign to me. I have well, this week continued to, to discover these artifacts. My connection will get stronger. Uh, Secured intake. Computer ship, plasteel, lead. Fantastic. Wait, what do you mean seek fluid intake? I've maybe that was logged to be done a while ago. Okay, so I need computer chip, plasteel, and lead. Titanium. Lead. Titanium. Oh wow, there's a lot in here. So far I've gotten three. Oh, that's four lead. Yeah. Titanium. That's a crash fish. Go away. That relatable moment when you think <clears throat> a crash fish is lead. There we go. That's my sixth lead. Yeah. Good. 
I really hope this one don't I need to. Signal location uploaded to PDA. I need two gold and copper wire. Okay. Modules. Sea truck fabricator module. Lovely. Now let's nudge that that way. So me building this doesn't drop it right on top. Because that wouldn't be very advantageous. Okay. Hello, sea truck. Uh, there we go. And I've done damage to it by driving into it the wrong way. Very similar to that. I'm going to do this so now I can actually walk around in here. I'm going to um, I need to hold it. Bop. Look at my sea truck. I got storage here. I got a fabricator. And I got even more storage. And I can even enter and exit through the front and, well, the front, through the back. Beautiful. Let's make that. Let's make our way back then over to Phi Robotics landing pad. Uh, it's, oh my. Yo! That's an Animacaris. The world's first super predator. The world's, well yeah. Largest super predator on Earth during the Cambrian period. It was believed to be two separate creatures a strange shrimp and a strange uh, jellyfish, which is why Anuacaris, its name, translates to peculiar shrimp because its mandibles on the front, which this kind of has, not as, per uh, not as well as the actual one, but its mandibles on the front looked like shrimp. Which is why it was believed it was a shrimp. Little lesson on what that is. Because that's... That's sick. I love that. Uh, I'm going to... Get back into my sea truck and then read that. An intelligent and curious creature which hunts and, hunts and forages below the waterline, but returns to the surface to breathe. Fluid intake. Yeah. Uh, it has many flippers. Its many flippers make this acrobatic hunter underwater, but vulnerable on land, where it's capable, at best, as of a fast shuffle. Oh, so it can move around on land. That's actually really cool. Generally consumes small fish, its diet may also include various plant materials. Side-facing eyes, usually for a predator, these likely serve as a defense warning system. Uh, Purple-tinted antennae on the head detect the movements of prey fish nearby. Shows no aggression towards human and even curious if there is no chance for a meal. Assessment friendly. Okay. Yo. An Aurora. 
I like that. That looks really nice. Okay, so I'm back here. Where is that bridge? Is that that bridge? Yeah, that looks like bridge to me. So... Let's build this. The snow box on the pad will allow you to build, prepare, and customize the snow box. Now your vehicle and let's build that. <laughs> Seek fluid intake immediately. Yeah, I get it. I'm getting cold. Give me my snow bike. And I can change its name and its color, but I'll get to that. I need to get inside a cave. Oh no, this warms me up. That's nice. So I'm actually going to customize the color and the name and everything. Foxy. Because it's a snow fox and that's the first words that came into my mind. Yeah, look at that. That's my ride, my whip. Okay. Insert that. Necessary repairs. Let's ex extend that bridge. Very good. <laughs> 